I hate that he used the uh, excuse mental health uh, when he knew he had been out there partying all during camp and wouldn't have made weight at 140. What was your response to that? I, I was taught in my career. Adrian the Problem Broner says he no longer has mental health issues. He's in a good space and he's past all of that now. But blames Al Heyman and the PBC for being huge parts of the problems and keeping him inactive. He also refuses to stand on the claims he made when he said he had mental health issues and that was the reason why he pulled out of the Omar Figueroa fight. Let's talk about it. But before we do that, make sure that y'all hit my like button and sub to the channel if you are not already subscribed to the channel. Y'all smash on my like button. And first of all, I want to give a shout out to Brian Custer for always putting on great, great interviews and asking all of the right questions. Now, Adrian Broner, man, we know that AB been on the scene doing a lot of interviews lately. You know, he been on the scene with a big smile on his face because he finally got the big paycheck that he was looking for. And in a lot of these interviews, I'm noticing that AB is putting all the blame on Al Heyman and the PBC. You know, he's blaming Al Heyman and the PBC for keeping him inactive. That's what he says. He says that they was, you know, keeping him inactive. And he's saying that these young fighters, they need to open up their eyes because they wasting their career. And some of the things that AB is saying, I do agree with, you know. I agree with that these young fighters that's with these companies, you know what I'm saying, like the PBC, and they up-and-coming superstars that they could be, up-and-coming potential superstars, and they should be fighting, you know, four, five, six times a year, but they fight once or two times a year max. So I agree with him when he says that, you know, these young fighters, they should be active. You know what I'm saying? These are the vital parts of your career these are the parts of your career where you're learning the most and where you're gaining the most traction and you can't do that if you're sitting on the sideline so i agree with that but when adrian Bronner blames al hammond and the pbc for his mess ups and his problems that he had you know he can't use that al hammond and the pbc are not the reason that adrian Bronner was inactive you know what I'm saying? Everybody knows that Adrian Bronner was undisciplined. Al Heyman and the PBC, they actually did everything possible for Adrian Bronner and gave him chance after chance after chance. Now I hear a lot of people saying, oh man, AB did a lot for the PBC. AB fought everybody that they put him in the ring with. Whoever they put him in the ring with, AB never ducked no opponent. Nah, that's some BS when you say that. Because nobody told Adrian Brunner that he had to move up and face Marcos Madonna. Matter of fact, he wasn't even with the PBC back then. You feel me? But at that point in time, nobody never told him that he had to move up and face Marcos Madonna. He felt that he was good enough and he wanted to do that himself. Also, he was never disciplined to stay at the lower weight classes where he should have been. He should have never moved from 135 pounds. If anything, he should have went to 140 at the max, right? But he wasn't disciplined to make weight and keep his weight down. He fought Sean Porter. They gave him Sean Porter. He asked for Sean Porter. He was heckling Sean Porter. He was talking shit about Sean Porter. He thought he was better than Sean Porter. He asked for the fight. They gave him the Sean Porter fight. You know what I'm saying? He thought he was better than Mikey Garcia. He wanted a big fight with Mikey Garcia. He was calling for that fight. They gave him that fight. And not only did the PBC give him all of these big fights with all of these big names that he was calling for, they even let Adrian Broner pick the weight that he wanted to fight them at. Sean Porter fight at 147, and you want to fight Sean Porter to catch weight at 144? Okay, cool. We'll make Sean Porter come down and wait to fight you. They was doing everything they could for Adrian Broner. Everybody was calling Manny Pacquiao. Nobody got Manny Pacquiao, but who got Manny Pacquiao? Adrian Broner. They gave him a big payday. After losing big fight after big fight, they still looked out for AB. You know what I'm saying? And then after the Manny Pacquiao fight, 
AB is always talking about, oh man, they wouldn't give me no fight and they, and I was inactive. AB was on several interviews talking about, I'm retiring from boxing. I don't want to box no more. And then when he came back, he said that he took a break. He needed to break. He had been boxing his whole life and he was sick of boxing. You feel me? So for him to come and act like that they were the reasons why he was inactive is some BS. And when he got ready to come back, the PBC searched high and low for an opponent that they felt that AB would be able to display his skills and they gave him a showcase fight. And what did he do in that fight with Giovanni Santiago? He looked like shit and he actually lost the fight. But since he was fighting on Showtime and PBC, what did they do for him? They made sure that the judges gave him a gift decision. Once again, PBC looking out for Adrian Broner. Also, after that, Adrian Broner, what does he do? He chooses to be inactive again. He goes and he goes on drinking binge after drinking binge. He blows up to over 200 pounds and he displays everything that he was doing. All the drinking binges, all of the other just ignorant activity that he was doing. He goes on Instagram and shows what he's doing every day, right? Gets in trouble, have all these different court cases, and then cries talking about Al Heyman needs to pay him all his money. Well, Al Heyman was probably holding some of your money because he knew you was going to blow it, right? And then once he pretty much blew all his money, and we could see because he was displaying everything that was going on. He was living in a little bitty ass hotel. And this is stuff that I'm talking about because he put it out there. He was staying in a little ass hotel and he didn't have no money like that. You feel me? But it wasn't because of Al Heyman in the PBC. It was because of Adrian Broner. But after all of that, what did Al Heyman in the PBC do for Adrian Broner? They gave him another chance. They gave him a fight on Showtime with Omar Figueroa. And the thing about that is they found another opponent that had been going through the same things that he was going through. Omar Figueroa, he had drinking problems and he had been going through a lot of personal issues. And he actually really had mental health issues because he was seeing doctors for it. You know what I'm saying? And they give him that opponent for Adrian Broner. And what does Adrian Broner do? He pulls out of the fight. He comes on Instagram and writes a long, long ass letter about how he's pulling out of the fight because he has mental health issues. And that he's not going to get in the ring without his mental health in the right place. It goes on and on. Well, Omar Figueroa, he says, that's a lie. He said it was a lie. Adrian Brunner was lying about the mental health problems that Adrian Brunner pulled out because he wasn't going to make weight because he was partying, drinking, and doing a bunch of bullshit the whole time while he was supposed to be in camp training. Now, I'm going to get into that a little more, but I'm going to play some of the audio um, on this interview that AB just did, and we're going to come back and we're going to cook on it. Now, in, in, in August, we thought we were going to get the problem um, you were going to take on Omar Figueroa, but, you know, the week of the fight, you had to pull out. Tell us why, because we've never heard from you. Tell us why. Um, It's a lot of reasons, honestly. A lot of that, you know, I took care of it, and, uh, you know, um, I'm back on track. So so that's all that matters, man. I, my fight is in February, and that's all I'm worried about. Are you past those problems now? Yes, sir. I, I'm well past it. Uh you know, I'm in a great space. I'm in a great space in my life right now. And um, everything's coming into play. That's great. See, now I'm going to stop it right there real quick. Right. Brian Custer clearly asked him, you know, tell us about the mental health. Tell us why you had to pull out. And he couldn't tell him because it was a lie. You know what I'm saying? And now he's all of a sudden saying, oh, I'm past all of that. I don't got no mental health issues no more. What you do? You know what I'm saying? What did you do? Did you go dive in the ocean in salt water like Manny Pacquiao and cured it? You know what I'm talking about? See, this is the BS that I'm talking about. He used mental health, right? Because we all know that a lot of these people are using mental health issues. Some are telling the truth. Some not. 
But we know that if you speak on it and say that you're lying, then people are going to get your helmet. Well, I'm not no journalist. I'm going to keep it 100 and raw. We saw that Adrian Broner was out of shape. He was nowhere near down in weight to make 140 pounds. But instead of just keeping it 100 and keeping it real and saying, look, man, I fucked up. I thought I could get down in weight. I was too heavy and I'm not able to make the weight. People would have respected that more if he had a came and just said that and said, look, I'm going to continue to work. I'm going to continue to get down. I just thought I could make weight and I wouldn't. But you know what? He couldn't come out and say that because before that he had came out and he said, look, I've been training for six months, man. They keep pushing my fight back. Who the hell have a six month training camp? I've been ready to fight. And then they pushed the fight back for you and they pushed the fight back for Adrian Burnham because they knew from talking to his camp that he wasn't going to be able to make weight. So they did him a favor and pushed the fight back. But what did he do? He went and shit on Showtime in the PBC talking about that they kept pushing his fight back. But they was doing it for him. You know what I'm saying? So that's why he didn't have no answer to the question that Brian Custer asked. And now all of a sudden he's like, oh, I don't have those problems no more. I, it's cured. Yeah, it's cured because BLK gave you a bag. That's all you wanted in the first place. You were searching high and low for somebody to give you a big, big payday. And they probably wouldn't pay you a big payday to fight Omar. You know what I'm talking about? They weren't going to pay you no big ass payday to fight Omar. You found BLK. And right after they told you that they were going to give you a bag, you went on Instagram. You was talking big shit. And all of a sudden, mental health, well, you, it's like, Oh, mental health? I don't know what y'all talking about. What mental health issues? I ain't never said that. But let's go ahead and play some of the rest of the audio, and then we're going to come back and we're going to cook on that. Uh, what, what did you think of, get your re reaction to this, when Omar Figueroa said, uh, quote, he wasn't mad that you pulled out of the fight, but it, he used these words. Quote, I hate that he, he, talking about you, I hate that he used the uh, excuse mental health uh, when he knew he had been out there partying all during camp and wouldn't have made weight at 140. What was your response to that? I, I was taught in my career, you don't got to respond to everything. You know, that's his, that's just his opinion. And then um, opinions like assholes, everybody got one. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> now y'all see, he didn't have no response to that. Brian Custer knew that AB was full of shit. That's why he was just like, yeah, interested. You know, and AB know he was full of shit. See, if it was really mental health issues, Adrian Bronner would be able to sit down with Brian Custer and talk about it and elaborate on what was really going on. But he couldn't. And he couldn't deny none of the shit that Omar was accusing him of because he knew it was true. That's why he said, you know, I ain't going to respond to that. You know, he knew it was true. It wasn't nothing to respond to because everything that Omar was saying was some trill shit. You was out there fucking off and partying. And the thing about it, if y'all really look at the timeline, when Adrian Brunner came out and was complaining about who has the six month training camp, that was in July, y'all. That was early in July. So if you trace that back, that means that he started training in late December or January. And if you fast forward to now, Adrian Broner has been training for damn near a whole year. And you look up and he's still not in shape. He's still walking around with a big ass belly. You know what I'm talking about? So just keep it real. He wasn't going to make weight. It's as simple as that. I mean, we seen Marcos Madonna do the same thing, right? But the difference with Marcos Madonna is, is he came out and he kept it 100. Like, look, I thought I could make weight. This shit too hard. I ain't coming back. I can't make weight. You know what I'm saying? It's as simple as that. But to run around and to blame the PVC and blame everybody else and not keep it trill, that's what I didn't like. And then on top of that, the PVC gave Adrian Brunner another chance after pulling out of the Omar Figueroa fight. And that's what a lot of people don't talk about. I think I was the only one that really reported it. They had a big pay-per-view deal on the table for Adrian Broner to fight Rolando Roly Romero. They sent him the offer. They sent him everything, right? They were going to put this man on pay-per-view with Roly. 
Even after he did all that bullshit and pulled out of the Omar fight, they were giving him another chance at 140 pounds on pay-per-view. What did Adrian Broner do? He didn't even respond to the PBC. Next thing you know, he pops up and he didn't sign the contract with BLK Prime. But he's blaming PBC. Man, y'all need to get off the boo-boo. You know what I'm saying? Adrian Broner need to keep it 100. But whatever, you know, he got this new bag from BLK Prime. He will be fighting in February in Atlanta. And I hope that he changes his career around. I hope that he does well. But I still don't believe in AB. But, you know, it's up to him to prove me and all the fans wrong. So, let me know, you know what I'm saying, what y'all think about this. What do y'all think about this whole situation with Adrian Broner? Do y'all think that he going to come back and he going to look better and he going to change his career around? Or do y'all think we still going to see the same Adrian Broner? And what do y'all think about him blaming the PBC for all of his problems and blaming mental health? Hit my like button. Let me know in the comments how y'all feel about all this. And y'all already know how I do. There you go talking that boxing again. And I'm gone.